Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of December general love reading. Now, keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Sagittarius, Summon, Rise, and the Venus Individuals, when I was meditating over your reading, the song that I got was Who Can It Be Now by Men at Work. Now in that group, you had a Cancer, Libra, Leo, Virgo, and a, um, no, no, no. you had Leo twice, okay? So strong Leo reference there. You could be doing a little fellow fire sign again, strong Leo. So Cancer, Libra, Leo, and Virgo, Summer, Rising, Venus, and the Visual, okay? So with the song, Who Can It Be Now? I feel like the message that I'm getting very strongly is like, hmm. First of all, the name of the group is Men at Work. So you, you could feel like, what is the universe got going on behind the scene? Who am I getting ready to connect with now? Because some of you guys could sense that something is coming in. Now, also, if you just dated, you're just meeting someone, you're just connecting with someone, whether it's a male or a woman, you could be feeling like, okay, who could it be now? Is this person really going to be who they show themselves to be? Or is this going to be another, you know, somebody showing their avatar, not showing their real self in the door? Even when I heard Avatar, somebody may have recently watched Avatar or has never watched Avatar and is thinking about watching Avatar. Somebody's favorite color is also blue as well, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the temperance card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for those cards. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Who could it be now? Okay, I also get that somebody is leaving someone behind and going in a different direction. This could be you. Okay. I'm also getting that somebody could be kind of telling you guys, like, you need to settle down. You're always moving, moving, moving. You don't have long-lasting relationships. This may or may not be true. You guys know Sagittarius of all the fire signs does have the reputation <laughs> of being a bit of a globetrotter, male and female. And that's not saying that you guys can't settle down. That I'm not saying that. Not trying to be shady. But of the, the fire signs, Sagittarius are kind of the ones who kind of, you know, marry later on in life and things like that because they like their adventures. They like to adventure. And that's not just physical adventures. It's like relationship, all that type of stuff. Sagittarius don't just settle down with anybody. So even with the song, Who Can It Be Now? It's like, okay, well, this was interesting. Next, you know, you could be deciding like, yeah, that, that wasn't going to work. It's time for me to go on to the next level, go to another person. Um, this connection is over. So with the song, Who Can It Be Now? It makes a lot of sense because it's like I'm going from this, turn my back on this, and, and embarking upon a journey with this. Even if there's no one currently in the picture, you could be asking the universe, like, okay, send me somebody else because that last one didn't work, you know. So just put it where it applies for you. Yep, some of you guys, did I say on a journey? Huh. Major Arcana, the Hermit. Um, in the group, we did have a Virgo. Men at work, there was a Virgo, and you do have a Hermit Virgo. Someone can be born in the year of the snake. Also, on your journey, because the hermit is seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity on some type of spiritual journey for self, spirituality. On your journey, you could be realizing that you have been always crossing paths with snakes. Or snakes is also a symbol of transformation, shedding that skin. So you're shedding skin. You are no longer interested in the same type of person that you once were interested in. You're evolving. Okay. So let's see. I feel like it's all about you guys, but not in a negative way. It's all about you and focusing on yourself and moving forward. Major Arcana, Chariot. And I did say there was a Cancerian in that group, so you do have cancer here. Some of you guys may have cancer coming towards you. So let's go through the deck until we get your Major Arcana again. The Temperance card, the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. <laughs> So right in front of you, you got the king. Ooh, I like this. This is kind of telling. You have her facing the king of pentacles. Strong Taurus energy, but it could Libra. Um, not Libra, but I want to say Libra. So there's no such thing as accidents. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But I'm also going to say Libra because I heard Libra. And I wouldn't be too far off the mark here because you do have swords right behind you. Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, remember I said the name of the song is who could this be now? The two of swords, she can't see. She doesn't know what's next. Swords are down. Sword up is just sword down is no. So somebody's questioning, like, who's going to be my person? But as I hold the cards up to you guys, she is facing an earth sign. 
So your next person of interest could very well be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, thank you. So this makes a lot of sense. What I was saying, what I was picking up earlier. Remember, I was saying like of all the fire signs, Sagittarius often get the reputation of being globe trotters, just you know, on the move all the time. Very seldom ready to settle down unless you feel like everything is satisfied within that connection. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are going for someone who has strong earthy placements because they are more grounded. Okay, something about their energy grounds you. And that's what you like about this individual's energy. That's what I'm getting. You don't see this right now. Some of you guys may meet this person within the next two weeks or next two months. For sure. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the King of Pentacles as well as the Two of Swords. And remember I said Libra. And I did not intentionally say Libra, but I said Libra. Some of you guys definitely can be dealing with Libra for sure. Okay. Or you got strong Libra placements in your chart. Yeah, and you know what I said? That, and it, it is a Libra in this group. Yep, Libra. So now you could have cut off a Libra or you could have cut someone off in Libra season, September, October time frame. If you cut off a Libra or you cut somebody off in Libra season, you may not know, but this person may be watching you because they want to know um, if you've moved on already, if you've settled down. This could be settling down. Mm-hmm. Getting that also. It's part of the deck. Hmm, tower. Yeah, their whole world came crashing down when you ended the situation with them. Okay. You got Scorpio and Aries here with the tower. That's a definite energy. So somebody's whole world came crashing down. Also, their world is going to come crashing down when they find out that you're getting ready to settle down with somebody else because you guys are settling down. Then you have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Breadcrumb. Two people. Right by this third party. You got three pentacles and there's a scale. Remember, I, I kept saying Libra. <laughs> so somebody definitely dealing with somebody who's a Libra. And I feel like you're going to choose. You're going to settle down with an earth sign. For a lot of you guys, you are going to settle down with an earth sign for sure. And you know, they say fire and earth is not compatible. But keep in mind, you know, you really have to look at the placements in a chart. Not just your sun sign. People love to just look at that, that sun sign. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at, look at all the placements there. That speaks like very clearly about connections and you know soul contracts that you have with people you have the four of swords in reverse some of you guys have come out of resting you may have been single for a while you've come out of resting you're ready to date i'm telling you for a lot of all you all you're gonna settle down with a <clears throat> earth sign if you're already with an earth sign and things are going well it, you're gonna move forward with this person but you maybe have some type of fear or reservations because in the past, the person that you could see yourself, again, she's her eyes are covered. The person that you could see yourself with, it didn't work out because the swords are down. But that's not the story with this person. Let's get a clarifier for the king of pentacles. Clarifying for the king of pentacles, okay? <laughs> Eight of pentacles, the actual nine to five, put in the work. Some of you guys are going to meet this person at their place of employment or yours. I'm going to take this because we had this earlier, right? Yeah, some of you guys are going to find this person. And I know it because as I put the cards here on the table, some of you guys are going to find your person, Okay. At their place of employment or your place of employment. And then you have the death card, Scorpio. And I did mention, well, there's no Scorpio in that group, but you may have met this person Scorpio season. You got Taurus here. I did, you know, we do have that energy. Somebody may have ended a marriage or a long-term union. I'm getting that also. And they're on some type of spiritual journey to find themselves. And they're going to find their way right into your life. You got, again, strong earthy energy. You got Taurus here. Could be Virgo and Capricorn also. Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm going to say this again, and I said this earlier. A lot of you guys are going to settle down with an earth sign. And now, this is funny to me because in the song, in the hook of the song, there's no real lyrics other than who can it be now. He says over and over again, who can it be now? Who can it be now? They're telling you who it's going to be. It's going to be earth sign. A lot of you guys are going to... In your path, okay, as far as finding love and looking for love, it's going to be with an earth sign. If you see right here in there, there's a star. That's your wish fulfillment. Star's wish fulfillment and healing. The person that you want, the person that you're longing for, desiring, earth sign. Some of you guys can be meeting this person in Aquarius season, okay? Um, Aquarius season is January, February time frame. So if you're single, some of you guys can be meeting this person in, in Aquarius season. And if you're already in a connection with this person, you guys are working on moving forward with each other some type of journey with each other or this person has plans for that and you just don't see it because they're not telling you about it but they're they're working on it also somebody's stacking up money so you guys can move in together build you know somebody needs to work and build their credit somebody may even want to build a house like buy land and build a house also a lot of you guys are dealing with people who have strong goals and strong um, money sensibility as well okay so, Sagittarius, Summon, Rise, and the Venus Individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, 
click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.